allergy warning. This video may contain peanuts. C7 Viper. Today, we have more boxes, but these boxes are special boxes. Special. These are all things ordered from Amazon. A while back, I asked everyone on my Discord, what's some good airsoft stuff that you can find on Amazon? And everyone sent me a ton of links, some really cool stuff. I didn't get it all, but I think we picked the best of the best. I really don't know. She ordered everything. And to open everything, I'm using this. This is a jar of Jif peanut butter. I was all set to use a rubber chicken for this one, but Alexis chose peanut butter because somebody on Discord made fun of her for saying Jiffy. And she says that I can open these boxes in a Jiffy with Jif. So we're gonna find out today if I can smash open boxes with peanut butter. It may get messy. First, I'm gonna start with this one. I already know what this one is, and this was not one of the Discord suggested items. How do I open a box with some peanut butter? Brand new peanut butter, hasn't even been tampered with. This is like with the potato. I did it. This is a flashlight. Get out of here, box. Another flashlight from Through Night. This is the Catapult V6. Ugh. Hey, paperwork, where are you going? A lot of you return viewers know that I have reviewed several flashlights from Through Night. They just keep offering them to me to check out, so I keep getting them. Ooh, we got the charger and some poison nerds. This one's a big one though. I think this is the biggest one that they've sent us so far. Comes with a carrying case, charger, lanyard. Pretty well versed in how to operate a through night flashlight by now. There's a rubber covered charging port on the back which makes it water resistant. You just gotta make sure you close it after you're done charging or the water can get in. Let's see, has it got batteries? Yes, that's pretty bright. This one's one of their brighter models the Catapult V6, and I think they're coming out with a new version of this one. Okay, we're going through the different modes. One, two, three. What I do like about these is there's turbo mode. This is supposed to be the brightest mode, and then you can dim it down, firefly mode. So this is a very bright one. Turn the lights off here. Look at all those patches. This is a bright mode, and then you can hold it and go down to firefly mode, which is battery conserving, but you still get a little bit of light. Medium, high, turbo. So the runtime on this flashlight, if you just use turbo mode, the brightest of the modes, 220 seconds. So you will kill your battery in a few minutes. If you use firefly mode, you can leave it on for a whopping 70 days. That means you can have a flashlight on nonstop for 70 days. Don't know why you would need to do that, but maybe it's just really dark where you live. Again, I'd say this is a win. Through night came through. Again, I wouldn't be reviewing these if they were garbage. Why would I want to? Why would I try to show you guys something? They're not paying me to say any of this. They're just sending me a flashlight to review and it is heavy and heavy duty. Now, if you're interested in this flashlight or anything else you see in this video, the links will be in the description. I recommend Through Night highly. They are very durable. You can't really understand until you get one how durable and like solid this thing really is. I think I have three of them now. As long as they keep offering for me to review them, I'm going to. I think the only problem we ever found was the first one was somehow missing the charging cable, but every other one has worked flawlessly. I really recommend this brand. So let's move on to the next item. I don't know what's in these boxes, so we're gonna take the little one and smash it. <laughs> Peanut butter. I opened that in a jiffy. What do we got first? Ooh. Oh, we got a shirt. Got a zippy open. There we go. Battle top. Ugh, how do I look? It's got spots for patches and the pockets open up. Is that elbow, elbow pad spots? There's elbow pad spots in there. There's pockets on each arm and it feels like a highly breathable material. Smell. It doesn't smell like anything weird. It just kind of smells like a shirt. The stitching seems pretty tough. I don't see anything frayed. I don't really see anything coming apart adjustable sleeves. This one was $31.99 on Prime. They have a bunch of different sizes and colors. So that's item number one recommended by those of you 
on my Discord. If you're not on my Discord and you want to take part in some of these because we're doing more videos where everyone in Discord helps out, you got to find the link in the description of this video and join up. We really do have some fun over there and I post a lot of behind the scenes pictures. Actually, take one right now. Where's your phone? Peanut butter picture. Next thing, there is something else in this box. I'm really excited that they picked this because this is the Ace Tech Lighter BT. Tracer unit. Instructions. Tracer unit. Charger. And adapters. I've heard really good things about the Ace Tech Tracer units. The batteries are already in and charged. See, I got BB on the ground. Any good airsofter has a BB on the ground. It's hard to see. I don't know if you can see it on camera. It works right out of the box. And then it will screw onto the end of your airsoft gun. It's got different adapters so you can either go clockwise or counterclockwise. So this would go straight onto a, a standard airsoft gun. I don't know if I have any tracer rounds. I can probably get some and test this out. Hello, here we are outside. It's getting dark. I've got the tracer unit on the Chris Vector, the Crytac. And we're just going to shoot it out there and see what it looks like. Hey, you geese, don't interrupt. Here we go. Isn't that cool? It's not even fully dark yet. So that's the tracer unit. So let's go back inside. This was $99 on Prime, which is about how much it costs anywhere else. So that's two items down from our Discord recommended Amazon loadout. I don't know what's going on with their tape job, but like a lot of this tape wasn't sticking on these boxes. Smash! Amazon tape is really easy to get through. What's in here? I got bubbles. First thing we have, 7.43 thousand Titan. These are like the best batteries on the market right now. I'm gonna have to test it real quick. Come here, tester. Let's see what kind of charge it came with. This needs to be charged. It is at like 4%. So I'm going to put this on the charge right now and hopefully test it out in a little while. So while we got that on the charger, we're going to check out something else. Oh, I see something I recognize. This is pants and knee pads to go with the top. These are heavy duty pants. Whoa. Again, they smell like pants. Nothing weird. So you got Velcro and a zipper, elastic on the top. All sorts of pockets. Looks adjustable on the legs also. Should I put them all on? Do it. Alright, we've got the shirt and pants on. I did not put the knee pads in. These pants are like legit. There's pockets everywhere. I feel like I'm ready to go out to battle. So the pants were $66.90 and it came with the knee pads again that insert into the knees of the pants. I'd say they were definitely worth it. These are some rugged pants. And what else is in this box? Here's the next thing. This was funny. I'm glad I got these. So we got sights. We got the peace sign, thumbs up, the A-OK -okay sign, the middle finger. Came with all the little hardware to put them on and an Allen key. It's pretty cool. So this would be like the front and this would be the rear and you line them up and pew 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 pew. I like these. I'm glad you ordered them. Now I'll put these on one of my airsoft guns and take pictures and put it on Instagram. I'm not gonna bust out one right now and, and install them. But if you don't follow my Instagram, find the link in the description and go follow it so you can see all this stuff. I'm gonna post pictures. But for now, back in the box you go. So if you want these little novelty front and rear sights, they are on Amazon. Link will be in the description and I only paid $17 prime. I think it's really cool. You get two sets and they're interchangeable. You can switch them around. So if you're feeling like giving someone a thumbs up that day or maybe not. I don't really know what's in the big one. Do you know what's in the big one? What's in this one? Is no, it for us? I don't know. What is in this that's... Oh my gosh. What did you do? This, why? This isn't airsoft. Explain yourself, woman. Why is it 30 ramens? It's snacktacles. This is a lot of snacktacles. This is heavy. Why do we have 30 ramens? This was recommended by someone? Yeah. So this is snacktacle ramen. I guess somebody recommended this 
for us to try. I don't know why we would need to try 30. Instant noodles. Reckless from Discord said to try these. I'm not sure he meant to buy a ton of them, literally. Like, look at this. That's so heavy. Through the magic of editing, we went ahead and made some. So now we have a ton of ramen and we're gonna have to taste test it because it was recommended to us by Reckless on Discord. And if you're curious, this is the Indomie Instant Stir Fry Noodles, and I guess we could only get a pack of 30, which was $20.50 prime. So that's 23 cents an ounce if you like math. I'm gonna try it. Did you already try it? Yeah. You like it? That's good. It tastes like noodles. All right, well. Before I ruin it, well, we have plenty. She's not happy because I am going to add some of this ballistic hot sauce that is 4 million Scoville units that Kenneth sent me a few videos back. And it was really hot. But I like my noodles really hot. And there's no spice to these. These are just good tasting noodles. Are you eating all of it? It's good. You're eating all of it? I haven't had enough to put my hot sauce in. There's like a bite left. All right, there's like a little bit left. I'm going to ruin it. I forgot how hot this was. I don't think that adds anything to the video. Yeah, it does. Everyone wants to see me in pain. Here we go. Uh oh. <laughs> she mouthed the bad word. All right. Well, I got a lot in there. I'm going to stir it up and make it red. Oh. <coughs> we have these noodles that are super spicy. It's like, <coughs> I forget, Sam Yang. Is that it? Like 3X spicy or something like that? That smells really hot. Ah. Yep. Yep. Should have done that. That's just stupid. You want to try? No, I don't want to try. I like to enjoy my food. I, I like it to it hurt. Ridiculous. It hurts. I hope it hurts twice. <clears throat> Do it for the likes. Fried noodles. Look, I have a fried tongue. <clears throat> Not gonna lie, I might actually eat all of these. All right. Woo! I put too much in. You sad? <clears throat> no, I'm not crying. Yeah. You're crying. <sighs> Shouldn't have done that. No. It, there was no reason to. It was fun. It didn't add anything to this. It was not relevant. <clears throat> Guys, like it if the hot sauce made you laugh. All right, that's it for me. Thank you everyone on Discord for picking out my gear. Join the Discord if you want to pick more out in the future. Please consider subscribing and joining the team. And I guess until next time, I gotta go have more noodles. And you can have some too! Oh, this is heavy. Oh, that's the cat food. What? I'm just kidding. Say, why would you have cat food as part of an unboxing video for airsoft stuff? That doesn't make sense.